Hello there guys, and after the last super serious video, today we're talking about ghosts. But not just any ghosts, dinosaur ghosts. Now, let me explain. First thing is, if you are spiritual or not, ghosts exist. Ghosts can be seen all around us, in the night sky. Majority of the stars seen in the sky have long since died, yet we can see them. This is because of the time it takes for the dead star's more recent light to catch up with its older light. There is a delay because we are seeing old lights from distant stars, and it takes a long amount of time for the most recent light to catch up with it and reach Earth. For example, the 8 minute delay it takes for the light from the sun to reach Earth. Technically, everything you see around you are ghosts. Humanity always lives 8 milliseconds in the past, due to the time it takes for your brain to process the information of your surroundings. You are always seeing the ghosts of memories that have already passed. So, ghosts do exist, just not the way some people think of it. But that's not what you came here for. You want to know how to see the ghosts of dinosaurs. Well, there is a way. Alright, first of all you need to understand how seeing works. When you see something, let's just say this orange, you aren't seeing the orange itself, but seeing the light reflecting off the orange. Once the light from a light source reaches the orange, it is reflected off a visible spectrum. Certain colors are absorbed and certain colors are reflected. This allows us to see colors, such as orange. Once light is reflected off the orange and the light reaches your eyes, it continues to travel outward, infinitely, away from you, up into the sky, and out into the void of space. Sometimes the light will be obscured by clouds, but let's just assume there aren't any, where it will travel for all of time outward. Now, even after, let's just say you eat the orange, the light reflected by the orange before you ate it is still traveling outwards, meaning someone far, far away, or if you are able to travel faster than the speed of light and end up in front of the light, can still see your orange before you ate it until the more recent reflected light of you eating it reaches them. In a sense, time travel into a couple minutes in the past. Now, with this logic, we can replace our orange with the dinosaurs in our couple of seconds with millions of years. The last light reflected off the dinosaurs is still traveling outward after 65 million years of time. Even after humanity and mammals have long since conquered the world left by the dinosaurs after their extinction, the dinosaurs last light reflections are still traveling outward, meaning there is technically a way to see their ghosts. The old light has long since left our solar system, but if we are able to get 65 million light years away from Earth, we could get in front of the dinosaur light and see Earth and the dinosaurs before they died and were changed. We could accomplish this two ways. First way, we could create a machine faster than the speed of light times 66 million years, therefore traveling faster than the light and passing it. Or, second way, we could build a wormhole that would allow us to make a shortcut to 65 million light years away in seconds. By the way, I'll talk more about wormholes in a future video. If we could accomplish this and get in front of the 65 million year old light, we would be able to time travel and see Earth 65 million years in the past, along with the dinosaurs that roamed it. But this proposes a problem. Even though we got in front of the light and we are so far away from Earth, how will we be able to zoom in to see it? Well, that's where things get difficult. Not factoring in the effects of gravity we'll have on the light, because gravity can affect light, causing it to become distorted, we would need a massive and very complex telescope. This telescope would need to have an aperture 32 light years across, and a lens with a volume of 66 trillion times all matter on Earth, or just 50 million suns. These are just a few of the resources needed for this telescope. These insanely expensive resources would be needed to allow us to capture every single photon of light that has become separated apart as the light traveled into space. And even if we are able to obtain a telescope this complex and this large, these photons of light would be spread apart. You see, as light goes farther from Earth, the light gets more and more distorted. The detail of the image the light was reflected off is slowly lost over time due to the photons separating. By 65 million light years away, we would most likely get a very, very, very distorted and pixelated image of Earth. And 
a very, 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 very pixelated image of some dinosaurs. But, I guess that counts. Maybe in the far future, we could invent a supercomputer that could account for this distortion. This computer could enhance the image by analyzing the spread of the light photons and give us a clearer image. So all in all, without tampering with the original image, this is probably the best image of a dinosaur we could ever get. Not including time travel, of course, because that's a whole nother can of beans we will open on another day. So mission accomplished, I guess?